The partnership is named Astasy. It's a Cree word. Uh, it means uh, thread made from sinew. Very small and thin, but it provides a lot of strength. Working together collaboratively as a team. Yeah, unified, like holds things really, really tightly together. And creating that uh, strong bond between all eight communities. Though we all walk our own path, um, we find that our, our culture is, is sewn and, and woven together. Sinew is strong. So we, we like to think that we are like that thread. We formed the Astasy Partnership, which brings together three First Nations and five Métis communities. It's one of the first deals that we have made with all the Aboriginal parties involved on it take uh, part ownership of a pipeline. The joint venture will own 15% in the pipelines that connect the Fort Hills project to the East Tank Farm and is really the lifeline from Fort Hills to be able to access the market. This is around ownership of the asset. So what this brings is, uh, is a shift in the paradigm in and around Indigenous involvement in major energy projects. It gives us an opportunity to uh, build a relationship and uh, build and expand uh, on the oil sands. Well, it's historic because it's actually not been done before. Just the magnitude of getting all of these people together, it was a lot of work. These deals take an enormous amount of time of, of listening and understanding and trying to figure out how we can move forward in a cooperative way. But this is a deal with all the Aboriginals in this land. So it's, it's, a, it's a new way of doing it. We're very glad that there are our Aboriginal rights and our, our, the blood of the Métis is being recognized. Really setting the pace in, in terms of a new partnership and a new direction with the inclusion of the Métis people. You know, it's something that's been in the works for quite some time. Individually, we've come together and financed our portion of the project. You have to have skin in the game. Our communities actually had to raise the capital to be able to make this investment, which was no small undertaking. Astasy creates a long-term joint venture that literally for decades to come will create a stable and structured income for these communities. This is absolutely a step forward. This provides a completely different revenue stream that our Indigenous communities have not been uh, accustomed to. There's a payment on, on that pipeline whether it's used or not. So regardless of production of the uh, Fort Hills facility, there's consistency in the dollars. Revenues like this will provide tangible benefits for our community. Whether it's education, whether it's childcare, whether it's health. The youth centers and, uh, you know, possibly schools. Various climate change adaption initiatives. Continue with cultural programming. Social programs, uh, health care. We support our elders program, we support the youth program. Programs that otherwise wouldn't be able to happen without this. It gives us a freedom that we haven't uh, had uh, to date. 100% up to the community, how we choose to spend those dollars. And this is now a partnership and a joint venture that will last for decades to come. Our communities will be here for generations long after the oil sands are. We will be able to, to depend on this funding uh, for a long, long time. I look at this as ge generational capacity for our community. A generational partnership. Because it provides an opportunity for the First Nations and the Métis communities that existed long before we showed up in the region to benefit from all of the activity that's gone on from this point forward. At the table, we're owners of a pipeline, you know, so uh, we have just as much to say as anybody else there. What it brings is a true opportunity, not just from an equity ownership perspective, uh, but a sustainable perspective. To be on the forefront of responsible development and to be included into decision making uh, and, and outcomes of the projects that happen. And that's something that has never really happened uh, up until now. Hopefully, you know, industry will follow suit and allow further opportunities for Aboriginal communities um, in the North to participate in ventures such as this. What this is going to do is it's going to create a blueprint. It's something, in my mind, that will set the stage for other major investments like this. Across this country and across different industries to help create economic reconciliation for the Indigenous people of our country. 
This is an opportunity to transform the future and we're excited to be a part of this joint venture. The sky's the limit in terms of where we can go. That's something that we couldn't say a year ago. Now we can. This is a new beginning for a Fortship Métis. These are changing moments for the First Nation. And our ability to be a strong player at the table. And having the ability of the Indigenous communities to be able to be the forefront of, of bringing this forward uh, is what the future looks like.